Hey guys, I'm Jane Dupree, and today I am showing you awkward position shots in pool that you need to know. So, let's just get right into it. These shots are shots that will come up. Not if they come up, you'll know how to make them. When they come up, you'll know how to make them. And I will be shooting them with two cue balls. This is my regular Aramith Red Dot cue ball. Uh, the stickers on my table. A lot of you don't like the stickers on my table. I kind of like them because it's like a story throughout my career. Like when I was sponsored by Muji and uh, when Aramith sent me some stuff and sponsored by Click Billiards. Uh, so I like keeping them on the table. But I'm also going to use the IQ. Uh, so I will show you exactly where I'm going to hit on this ball and then I'm gonna hit it on that ball. So, for this first shot we are straight in on the one. So, if we use top spin, we don't really get it anywhere. If we use, let's see, if we just kinda like stop the cue ball so we know where it is, we have a shot but not much of a good one. So we want the best shot we can get. Also, if we just try a regular draw with no spin, we know we get a straight end. We get like a straight angle on the eight. So that's not a good shot. We don't want that. This is probably the last place we want to be. So what we're going to do is we are going to hit, let's see, where'd I put the IQ? We're going to hit bottom left. So you see where this one is? We're going to extend that one down to the bottom line of the B. So we're going to hit about that one and the B, and we're going to hit it really hard. And why we're hitting left? If you look at it from the direction the cue ball is going with the draw, you see after it hits off this rail, it's naturally going to the left. So left spin will just lengthen the angle. So that was center ball. This is left spin. Left spin is going to lengthen the angle, and it will go much further with less speed. So see how last time we ended like here, and now we're right here. Uh, so that bottom one, the one with the B, so bottom left spin, always make sure your chalk's up. If I can find my chalk, here it is. Always make sure your chalk's up on these draw shots. We're gonna shoot with a level Q uh, and a loose wrist, and follow through, straight through the ball. Spin the ball over there. Now you see that we have a much easier shot on that eight ball, pretty much straight in. Uh, very, very easy shot, ideal position for that shot. So now let's move to a similar shot, but we're using follow this time. Okay, so another shot. If you have pretty much the same shot, but a slight back cut on the one ball, uh, you don't want to draw this time. Because watch what happens when we use that bottom left. See how it ends up shorter than last time? Like it's a makeable shot, but ideally we want to be over here. So what we are going to do is we are going to hit top right on the cue ball. So just take the IQ and extend this little two right here out to the outer edge. So we're hitting around here. And right spin in this case is the running English because when the cue ball goes off of this rail, it naturally goes to the right. So right spin is just going to lengthen the angle and uh, make it go faster without more speed. So small back cut. If you're straight in, I definitely suggest the draw back off the rail and up over here. But we're going to pocket the one and we're going to use a lot of top spin, like max top spin with a, about a tip of right spin. So the cue ball will follow forward into this rail because of the cut angle. Go one, two, three, and out for a nice shot on the eight. Just remember, keep a level cue, loose wrist. And then we are over there for the eight. So it is a very important shot to know you definitely need to get on and practice this shot. I'm just going to zoom in real quick so you can see where we are on the eight ball now. We are about a ball's length away from the rail. 
which is pretty much perfect position. Uh, very, very easy shot to accomplish, but you're definitely going to have to practice it before you try to use it in games. Okay, so let's imagine we're in this situation now. Uh, we're shooting the one. We want to shoot the eight ball next. We have a small angle on the one. So our cue ball would naturally come off the one and go into the rail and out. If we were straighter on the one, we could probably just shoot a draw shot and draw back for the eight. Uh, but unfortunately, we are not straight in. So we have this angle. And this is probably the one you're going to need to practice the most because this is the one that's going to show up most often. And it's actually a little harder to pocket the ball when you're shooting like this. So this is definitely, it's not very awkward once you get it down, but it's definitely one you need to practice over and over and over again. I cannot stress that enough that you repeat this until your muscles like absolutely remember. So what we're going to do is we're going to pocket the one in the corner. Play the cue ball top left, play off one, two, three, and out for the eight ball into the corner. So I'm going to show you on the IQ where I'm going to hit. So you see in between that two and the three right here, the two and the three on that side, let's extend like in between there to this middle ring. So in between here and this middle ring is where we are hitting. So top left. If you're on the other side, top right, uh, left spin again is running English in this case because when a ball comes off of this rail, it naturally will go left. So left spin will add more speed to the ball and lengthen the angle. So we're going to have to aim a little more full on this one ball because something called deflection, when we use left spin, the cue ball deflects to the right a little bit, so we have to change our aim. So top left, over, for the eight. So if you don't get position like this, I'm going to shoot these really fast so if I miss the ball, just go with me. So position like this, if we end up going like this, See how I went over there? I'm not focused on the shot right now, we're focused on position. See how I went over here? That's because we didn't use any top spin, uh, or we didn't use enough top spin. And then see this shot, how it just, how it kind of goes too far, we would have made it there, uh, but that's because we didn't use enough left spin. So if it comes out too far this way, uh, say sometimes it'll go bam, bam, and just come this way. That's when you're using too much top spin, but if it just goes off and doesn't go far enough, if it hits, if it goes off the rail, it hits on this side or barely hits like right there, then you are using too much left spin or just not enough top spin. So definitely try it out on your table, see what combinations work for you. So that was probably the most important shot. If there's one that you need to remember from this video, it's definitely that one. Okay, so another common shot. We're playing the one into the side. And let's say we were shooting a shot before this and we got careless and we didn't draw back. So we had a straight in shot before and we got careless and we ended up on the wrong side of the one. When I say wrong side of the one, that means like this side you see how the cue ball would naturally go towards that eight. But since we are on this side, our cue ball naturally heads away from the eight. So what we need to do is we're gonna play it with that top running English. Pretty much the same as going off these three rails, but we're gonna go off these three rails and come over here. So for this shot, top right, right spin's running in English when the ball goes off that rail, right spin will take it faster and uh, faster and it'll lengthen the angle. So level cue, loose wrist. Let me show you on our marked cue ball where we're hitting our top left 
that two right there, exactly where that two is. I don't know if the camera is going to focus in on it, uh, but that two right here. So that's where we're hitting, and that's pretty much it. You don't need to hit too hard. If you go too far into this rail and you just scratch in this pocket, you're not using enough right spin. Uh, if you go, if you hit this part first, you're using too much right spin, not enough top spin. So you got to find that little middle part and just make your way around the table. We kind of hit that slow. Uh, let's see if we can just speed that up just a tad. So top right. There we go. And now we are perfect on our eight. So now just pocket that eight ball into the corner. So that again is the second most important shot of this video. So if you pick up on any two shots in this, definitely uh, practice that last shot and then this shot right here. These are definitely the most important ones and the ones that you will need to know in games. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed. If you did, click that like button down below. If you want to be notified when I post again, click that subscribe button and then the bell icon right next to it. That'll just let you know that I've uploaded a new video. Uh, thank you guys so much for 6,000 subscribers. That's awesome. We were at 5,000 just the other day. So thank you guys so much for that. And also thank you for 800,000 views. Uh, so thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed and I hope this video helped you become a better pool player.